Hey everybody, I'm the Attack Artist, and welcome to the Inktober 2018 video. That's way later than I meant it to be, but it's here nonetheless. <laughs> um, so this was my first year doing Inktober. It, well, kinda, because last year I tried doing Inktober for the first time, but I only did like five days worth of it. And I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Okay, so you know how you do Inktober? So you sketch out the drawing with pencil, and then you do the line art with a pen, like an art pen, and then you erase the pencil, and there's your drawing. Well, um, I had no idea how it worked, so I just grabbed a pen that wasn't an art pen, just like a random pen, and I just drew with, without doing pencil or anything. And the, turn, the drawings did not turn out well. And I only did like four or five days of it. So this is like my first actual year doing it. I had a lot of fun with this and I'm excited to show you the drawings I did. Okay, so starting out, this isn't actually day one drawing. This is um, just a practice drawing because I've never used art pens like before. Um, so I was just testing it out, like how to shade and stuff. And I liked how um, the pen worked, how it felt, and I think I did pretty good. I like how I did the October lettering. That was really fun to do. So, oh, and before I begin, just saying, I've mainly been drawing just digitally, not traditionally. Um, ever since, like, I drew digitally on Weavers, I kind of stopped drawing traditionally. Of course, I might, um, do, like, sketches or something like that in, like, a sketchbook. But I mainly dropped um, digitally, so this was really interesting for me. Um, and actually, a couple times, I actually caught myself doing this. In After I would finish drawing something, I actually was like moving my hand to click on save. <laughs> um, even though, of course, it's on a computer. So that was kind of funny. Anyway, I'm taking too long in this one drawing, so let's go to day one. So this drawing, I drew Skyward Sword Zelda. Um, wearing like clothes and I actually really like how chibis look but I hardly draw chibis so this is one of those rare times I've drawn a chibi but I think she looks cute so I think I did well there um, so that was pretty fun I do want to draw more chibis though <laughs> that's something I'd like to do in the future okay so for, for day two I really like how this turned out um, Starting off, I tried to go with more of a Halloween theme, which is why, like, Zelda's wearing Link's outfit, like a Halloween costume. So for this, so for day two, I drew, um, a screenshot from one of the trailers of Smash Brothers, you know, where Luigi dies. <laughs> um, and I really, really like how it turned, turned out. I tried to give um, Ghost Luigi a ghostly vibe, which is why I drew like little like um, lines around him, um, because n none of these drawings are colored, so I had to illustrate that he was a ghost that way, and <laughs> I I'm really, really happy how this drawing turned out. I think I got the perspective done right too, so yeah. <laughs> Um, for day three, I drew Lana from Hyrule Warriors, and to make it a little Halloween-y, I replaced her book with a pumpkin. Um, I I'm, I'm really happy how this one turned out because of the shading. I think I did really well with the shading. And Hyrule Warriors, man, is such a good game. And I hope that Lana returns in some way. Um, same with Volga. Like, Wizro, like... See, uh, those those are all like really cool characters. So even though it's a spin-off game, I'd like them to return to in another Zelda game. For day four, I drew Olimar with Ghost Pikmin because you know when you play Pikmin, a lot of Pikmin die. <laughs> um, so I went off the sprite artwork for the Pikmin ghost when a Pikmin dies. So I drew it like them following him. Like Olimar has so many lives in his hands. So it's like, the ghosts of his past are stalking him, Ooh. <laughs> Um, on another note, Olimar to me is really easy to draw, especially his face, so um, it was pretty easy drawing him. <laughs> 
Um, for day five, I drew something original. I took Bulbasaur, but instead of having like that lettuce like bulb on his back, I drew him with a pumpkin on the back. So he's Pumpkin Sore. <laughs> um, I had a, um, I rarely draw Pokemon, so it was really fun drawing this. Um, Bulbasaur is a really cute Pokemon, but I never choose him when I play. Like when you can choose um, one of the original starters, I never choose him. I always choose Squirtle or Charmander. So next time I should probably choose Bulbasaur. For day six, you know how you can buy those costumes for dogs? Well, what if Minda decided to buy a costume for Wolf Link? So, um, that's what I drew pretty much. Um, and yeah, of course Link would not like this. <laughs> Especially since it's like a, it's just like a bumblebee. The hero of Hyrule saving the world with his bumblebee costume. Um, for day seven, I drew Ness and Link trick-or-treating. And you know how, you know that feeling you get, right? When you dress up as something, you're excited, and then someone says, oh, you're dressed up as da-da-da, but you're actually dressed up as something else. Well, in Majora's Mask, and also there's a mask of it in Ocarina Time, there's a race of, um, Keatons, I think they're called, and they're like a fox race with like nine tails. So I had him wear the mask, and since the mask and the species is based heavily off of Pikachu, um, I had that with um, Ness, of course. And Ness is wearing an Eevee costume because let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So yeah. <laughs> also, I should get that game soon because a lot of people don't like it, but. Um, I need to play more Pokemon games, and I like, and I, and I don't really like playing games on, um, handheld systems. I'm more of a console person, so it'll be fun playing it finally on the Switch. Also, I haven't even looked at any information on it, because I like to go into the games blind, so that'll be fun, especially since I never played the original, um, Pokemon games. Okay, so for day eight, I drew, um... Breath of the Wild Link made a carved a pumpkin, and Zelda's really happy about it. And I'm really, really happy how this turned out. Again, I tried to go for Chibi, and I'm really happy how it looked, how it turned out. Especially Link, because he's all proud, and I had a lot of fun drawing his expression. So this is probably one of my favorite drawings I drew this year. Speaking of one of my favorite drawings, for day nine I drew School Kid with the Majora's Mask. And I had a ton of fun with this one. I went off of the original artwork for Skull Kid. I actually have a poster of this in my room, actually. Um, not of this drawing, but I'm talking about the original drawing I'm talking about it based off of. And since that um, drawing is heavily shaded, it was really nice to shade this um, with um, just black and white. I, th I think it turned out really well, and I'm very happy with this. For day 10, um, I tried to go for another Halloween theme, since it was the month of October, of course, and I drew, like, Spirit Tracks, Zelda and Link's first reaction. And I actually was gonna draw Zelda again in the second panel, like, all, like, huffy and puffy, with her, um, arms to her side, like, all upset. But I kept on drawing it, and it didn't look right several times, so I just went for the lazy route, honestly. Um... I like how this drawing turns out, but it's not one of my favorite, because I think I could honestly have done a little better on it, but eh, it's good. For day 11, I drew a drawing I'm not happy with at all. Um, you know how in Skyward Sword there's the Lumpy Pumpkin, which is like a restaurant and you can buy pumpkin soup there? Well, there's a really bad side quest where you have to um, do this song with um, the owner's daughter, and I drew her. Especially since I was in the middle of replaying Skyward Sword when I was drawing this. And I'm not happy how this turned out. I did not mean to color her eyes in like that, but I messed up and I had to just color them both in that way. And I just am not really happy with this drawing, how it turned out. I just don't think she has, um, like a lot of feeling in her, like a little, like, soul in her, if you know what I mean. So... Oh well, for day 12, I drew Dampe the Gravekeeper, which is one of my favorite Zelda characters. And I really, really am happy how this one turned out. 
Um, because I drew him, of course. And, like, I went off his original, like, N64 model. So that's why he kind of looks a little, like, sharp and pointy. Like, polygony. Um, but that's honestly how it looks like, so that's how he, that's how I drew him. And I drew the windmill in the background, even though that's honestly not how it would really look in the game, but for, for art's sake, I drew it like this, and I'm really happy how this one turned out. I, I honestly w hope that in the next Zelda game, there's like a big graveyard. Like, you know how Breath of the Wild has, has such a big role? Let's have a huge graveyard in a spooky forest, and let's have Dompy the Gravekeeper be in there, because that would be super cool to see. For day 13, I drew a very underrated character, Marin from Link's Awaken, which is another underrated Zelda game. <laughs> I'm super happy how this one turned out, and even though this isn't Halloween themed at all, <laughs> um, I'm happy at how it turned out. And as you can see, I became in a really big Zelda mood whilst drawing this, which is why a lot of these drawings are actually Zelda fan art. Um, and I and I know that you can play as Marin and, Hi and Hyrule Warriors, but I only actually have the Wii U Hyrule Warriors, so I won't be able to play with her until I mean play as her until I get the Switch version eventually. Um, but I really hope that Link's Awakening gets a 3D re remake, and it would be even cooler if it wasn't a top-down perspective. Like, if it was, you know, the normal perspective of Zelda games. How it's, you know, like, Ogre in Time, Plot Princess, Skyward Sword. Because that'd be super cool. Because the story of the game is amazing! Especially the plot twist. <laughs> Which I won't spoil, don't worry. For day 14, I drew a Poe! And I've actually drawn a Poe before. Um, so I did a special technique for its eyes. Um, I don't know if you can tell via the camera, um, the quality, but basically what I did is I colored in his eyes and then I erased his eyes, so it kind of got a shadowy effect. And I'm really happy how this one turned out, um, especially with the shading, because, hey, Poes are spooky, and it was the Halloween month, so it just fit. For day 15, I drew a Minish Cap Pikmin drawing. Um, and of course I did a Jack Lantern because it's the spooky month. And I'm happy how this one turned out. I've actually started, um, replaying Minish Cap. Um, because I've actually never beat him Minish Cap. I used to play it a ton when it first came out, but I never could figure out how to get to the second area. And then when it first released on the Wii U, I played all the way up. Um, I beat, I think, three dungeons, and then I stopped. So I'm replaying it again, so hopefully I'll actually beat it this time. And I really like Minish Cap. It's a very underrated Zelda game, yet again, which I think would be cool with a 3D remake. Um, and yeah, and since Pikmin are small and Minish are small, of course I had to draw them together. For day 16, I actually drew a character from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I tried to make it Halloween-y, so I drew her in like a vampire costume. And admittedly, I'm not too pleased with how this drawing turned out. Again, I think she feels a little lifeless. Lifeless? You know what I mean? Um, but I mean, it's better than like the other ones I said were bad. But, um, yeah. I've actually never played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and don't spoil me because whenever I haven't played a game, I make sure not to even watch trailers if I know, like, for sure I'm gonna buy them, because I've actually never even played Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one, um, and I should because I watched all of Shire Connery's Let's Play of the game and I really loved it, so yeah, I've actually never even played a Xenoblade game, so uh, blind Let's Plays <laughs> will definitely be coming in the future. For day 17, I drew an Earthbound drawing, and I'm super happy with how this one turned out. I'd actually like to color this digitally, and Earthbound is uh, has a, a fandom, of course, um, but overall, considering other Nintendo franchises, Earthbound is really underrated, as well as the Mother series as a whole. And I have beaten Earthbound before, but I've actually never beaten or played Mother 1 or Mother 3 before. Um, I'm waiting for that English translation mother th for Mother 3, um, so, but at one point I'd like to let's play Mother 1 blind, because I think that'd be fun. Um, so yeah. Um, again, I'm really happy how this one turned out, 
And Mr. Saturn's and Ness are very cute. <laughs> okay, for so for day 18, um, someone suggested that I drew Shulk. So I decided I was gonna draw Shulk wearing Link's outfit. But at the end, you can't actually tell it's supposed to be Shulk at all. So it just ended up turning into me drawing Link. Um, and I actually tried to redraw um, Shulk's pose where he's holding the Monado. Except, of course, I made it Zeldified. But at the end, it just turned into a Link drawing. Which is fine. I mean, it's a good drawing. Aside from that hand that kind of looks a little wonky. So yeah, for day 19, I drew a comic. Because I love reading comics and manga. But I'd never make comics, and it, it'd be fun to try out making some comics. And, of course, this is honestly what would happen if Kirby s swallowed a pumpkin. <laughs> because both of them are round, so it just felt perfect. It's a Kirby lantern. Jack-o-lantern? Kirby-o-lantern? Mm, this doesn't sound quite right, but <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be. For day 20, I drew... Fem the female version of Corrin, and I'm super happy how this one turned out. Corrin's outfit is black and white, so it just seemed perfect to draw Corrin, and I'm super happy how this one turned out. Um, the shading and the anatomy, and I colored over the line art for Corrin several times to give the effect that it's actually a cape behind her, so it didn't like melt in, like you know, so you can tell the difference. And I'm super happy how th how this turned out. Um, speaking of which, Fire Emblem Fates, I've actually played all three and beaten all three versions of the game. And I love Fire Emblem Fates, and that's actually the first, um, Fire Emblem games I've actually played. I've never played any other Zelda, um, Zelda, Fire Emblem game, so that'd be fun to play as well. I don't know if they work well Let's Played, um, because of how long battles take, but hey, if, um, I, I, if... Like, they were re-released on the Switch or for Virtual Console or something. Then I might maybe Let's Play them? Maybe? I don't know how well that would translate into Let's Play. Okay, so for day 21, I started to get into a Studio Ghibli mood because I love Studio Ghibli with all my heart. I've seen almost all the movies several times. Um, like, Castle Castle I've seen countless times. Spirited Away, Castle Sky, I've seen so many. So, since it's the Halloween month, I drew Kiki, since of course she's a witch. Um, for the little day 20, um, I actually, that's actually a real sign from the movie. So I thought it would perfect, be perfect for a little nod to the movie. And for her eyes, that was actually a mistake. I didn't mean to make it black um, at the bottom of her eye, but it looked good, so I did for the other eye, and it worked. Um, I'm very happy how this, this one turned out. I think I did the pose well. And the hands are pretty good, too, so that's a plus. So for day 22, of course, I drew the cat. Um, the cage is actually from the movie, because in the movie, um, Gigi actually has to pretend to be this little black cat toy. So, um, he's in there, and since he's a black cat, um, I had- I did, like, a little shading effect, so you can tell he's a black cat. And I'm happy how this one turned out. For day 23, I drew yet another Studio Ghibli drawing of Chihiro from Spirit of the Way, and I'm super happy at how this one turned out. Um, I'd actually like to color this one and do it digitally as well, and make it like my phone's wallpaper. Um, so I did the dragon, of course, in the background of Chihiro, and I did a little pattern of soot sprites, all with different, like, emotions, and the little, um, candy things those are for, those are for the movie they look like star bits um so i did a little pattern a little nod to the movie for day 24 the zelda theme returned once again so i guess it's kind of good that i'm posting this in zelda month i'm super super happy at how this drawing turned out i think this one actually might be my favorite because i spent a lot of time with this one I did the effect on the line art where I drew over the line art several times so you could tell that he wasn't in the background, he was in the foreground. And I would definitely like to do this digitally um, because I think it'd be really cool colored. So yeah, I'm very, very happy at how this one turned out. For day 25, since I was still in the middle of replaying Skyward Sword, I decided to draw if um, Breath of the Wild Link met um, Kikwees. 
since Kikui should definitely return in another Zelda game. Kikuis are one of my favorite Zelda races. I think they actually are my favorite, actually. And I really, really hope they return in another Zelda game because they're so cute. I am really happy at how this drawing turned out. Um, I did. I really enjoyed doing the background with Elden Volcano and the big tree of foreign woods and stuff. So this one I'd like. I would maybe like to do um, a digital version as well. And he's thinking like, is this food? So it's like supposed to be like if he's thinking it's a soup. Um, because since Kikwis are part plant, that's probably what Breath of the Wild Link's first thought would be, honestly. For day 26, I drew the scene that made everyone have the feels. <laughs> um, I really liked this theme, this scene in Breath of the Wild, as I'm sure everyone did. Um, so of course I had to draw it. Um, I'm really happy at how this drawing turned out. My only issue was his hand doesn't look quite right. Um, but other than that, I think it turned out well, so yeah. For day 27, I drew a special drawing. Now, this might not seem Zelda themed, but it actually is still Zelda themed. These are actually two OCs of Farisay, say who is my favorite artist on the internet, and she has a Tumblr blog where, um, she does art, and she's actually been doing, like, Miraculous Ladybug stuff, um, for the past, like, two years. But before that, she her blog was all about Zelda. And um, up until two years ago, she had a Skyward Sword um, blog where you could ask um, Link, Zelda, and their kids questions. Um, it was supposed to be after the events of Skyward Sword, of course. And it, even though she doesn't post it anymore, you should check it out because it's really, really, really good. Um, like, there's like there was like an unfinished story about how, like, Link went missing and his son had to find him. And there's, like, stories of how, like, they got married and stuff. So definitely check it out. I'll definitely link that in the description below. And also, this is what inspired me to do my Breath of the Wild blog. So definitely go check it out. For day 28, again, since I was in a Skyward Sword mood, I drew another Skyward Sword drawing of what I'm thinking what happened when they reunited. Um, at the end of the game and I'm and I'm really happy at how this one turned out I like how I'm really I like honestly I really am happy how this turned out with their expressions and the hands although Zelda's hand looks a little wonky but eh. but I really am happy at how this one turned out they look so cute together <laughs> for 20 for day 29 yet another discovered her drawing I drew a reference to um, Skyward Sword, and if you haven't played it yet, which you should because it's overhated for absolutely no reason, um, in the game there's this robot named Scrapter, Scrapper, and he has a crush on your companion, Five. And he also calls Link Master Short Pants, because his pants are short, I guess. Um, so that's what the um, text box is referencing. And for day, tw day 30, since I was in the Scarlet Sword, how could I not draw the founder of Hyrule? The Grusinator. <laughs> Grus is a great character in Skyward Sword. Like, he's a great character. Um, like, again, if you haven't played Skyward Sword, go play it. Because Grus is actually very ugly. Um, so my drawing made him a little more attractive. Because um, I, I, I couldn't really draw him that ugly, honestly. So yeah, I'm happy at how this one turned out, because Bruce is one of my favorite uh, Zelda characters, so of course I had to draw him. And also, um, after um, after I drew all those Skyward Sword drawings, I actually did end up beating Skyward Sword for the third time, so that's why there was so much Skyward Sword content. And for Day 31, Halloween itself, I drew another Zelda drawing, except this time, Spooky. I drew a re-dead, re um, terrorizing Link, because, yeah, <laughs> re-deads in Ocarina of Time, that is, are so creepy, and freaking the re-deads and Dead Hand, not the hands, I'm talking about that boss that's called Dead Hand, freaking are super, super creepy, man. So I drew that, 
because I had to draw something spooky and creepy and scary for Halloween. And I actually was actually going, and I actually was actually going to, <laughs> I actually was going to draw, um, Jack. Um, you know, the pumpkin head guy from Animal Crossing? Not from Night Before Christmas. I was like, was gonna draw him for Halloween, but since I was in a Zelda mood and honestly I wanted to draw something scarier, um, I drew this. Um, Reedits are actually, like, the face are actually really easy to draw in my opinion. Um, so I'm happy at how this one turned out. Although one thing I'm not too pleased at is I tried to go for, like, a scary, like, darkness effect. So I started to, like, darken the paper with my lines, um, but it didn't turn out right and it just kind of looks like I'm scribbling, so ignore the bad background. But other than that, um, I think it turned out well. So yeah, that was Inktober 2018, all 31, or rather 32, drawings. Um, I had a blast this year, and since I never draw traditionally, at first it was a little bit challenging, but then by the end, I actually grew um, a, a hang of it. And I, I'm definitely participating in Inktober next year, because I had a great time this year. It was really, really fun. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and tell me what was your favorite drawing that I've drawn um, for Inktober this year. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm very happy though that I did participate in Inktober because it was really fun drawing um, fan art and it was fun doing the challenge of drawing per day. Um, so yeah, next year I might actually get um, maybe some watercolors or something to color the paper and I actually have a different idea of Inktober for next year. Um, it's going to be the same thing of a drawing per day with ink. Um, but I have actually a very interesting idea, so I hope you guys will like that idea next year. So, I'm the Otaku Artist, and I'll see you guys next October and next video. Don't worry, I'm not going to be gone for a year. 